So the Ellison boys had a great season that came up just a little bit short. Scott Drew and the Baylor Bears can relate, becoming only the second program ever to win 15 Big 12 games in a season. But entering Saturday, they needed a win and some help to try and claim their first conference title since 1950. Scott Drew and company had a tough task heading into the Beehive at West Virginia Coliseum. Playing tough are those Mountaineers. Great start for Baylor. 6-0 right there. Part of a 9-0 run to start the game for Baylor. But here come the ears. Down 9-0. They go on a 9-0 run of their own. Emmett Matthews squares it up at 9 at that point. Tied at 22 in the final minutes of the half. Macy Oteague, the jumper, makes it 24-22. Bears at the half. Second half here. Mark Vidal back in the lineup and paying off nicely. Finds Flo Thamba pushing Baylor's lead to 39-35. Building on their lead now. Davion Mitchell showing some range from 3. 42-37. Bears trying to create some distance. But the Mountaineers storm back. Emmett Matthews brings down the house with that dunk. 45-40. West Virginia out front and speaking of bringing down the house, Miles McBride, goodness gracious, the Mountaineers put an exclamation point on this one, beating Baylor 76-64 and eliminating the 15-3 Bears from Big 12 title contention. Now this really hurts, it really hurts. Uh, I don't think another team in Big 12 has lost a conference championship with, uh, what do we have, 15 wins? So it's first. I mean, we did what you normally would do and you'd win a conference championship and we don't have anything to show for it, so it sucks. Now had Baylor won, they would have needed a loss from Texas Tech or a win from Texas Tech over Kansas, which they wouldn't have gotten anyway as the Jayhawks survive a nip and tuck game out there in West Texas. The Red Raiders lose four straight to end the season, seemingly firmly on the bubble for that NCAA tournament. While on the 40 acres, the Texas Longhorns come back down to earth a little bit as Oklahoma State continues their late season surge, winning 81-59. So here's a look at how the Big 12 seeds stack up for the tournament. Kansas and Baylor are your top two seeds. Then there is a mess of 9-9 nine nine teams, starting with Oklahoma after their win today. They go up to the third seed. Texas and Texas Tech right behind them. The second half of the seeds look like this. West Virginia with that Oklahoma win drops all the way from three to six after the Oklahoma beats TCU. Then in the first round, it'll be seven seeded TCU against 10th seeded Kansas State. The winner of that will play Baylor while Oklahoma State and Iowa State will meet in the 8-9 match.